going to talk a little bit about the different tripods that you could use. So even if you're shooting with a mobile phone, I have seen people with bulldog clips, you can get little gorilla tripods that attach to them and allow you to manipulate them in different angles, so have a lot more versatility. So here we have two different tripods. This is a Manfrotto and this is a, a Velbond. This one is more expensive because it is very durable and I can buy independent parts for it and it's a large manufacturer. Now when you're using a tripod, both of these have quick release plates, which means I can attach this to my camera and take the camera on and off the tripod quite easily and quickly when I'm shooting. Putting the lens plate on your camera, just make sure that's aligned and then use the screw to tighten it rather than just tightening the plate. Sometimes then it can be quite loose and it's not going to sit on the camera properly, on the tripod properly. It's really important to make sure that you have a good connection and it locks in tight. So there's a little lever here that you can use to put your plate in and then make sure that's all the way around and locked. It's also a good practice just to give the camera a bit of a tug to make sure it's on the tripod. The other thing to make sure when you're shooting with your tripod that it's nice and sturdy is if you need to go quite high, it's recommended that you extend the legs like this one and have them fully out rather than in like this so that it's very stable. And it's a little bit easier just to put this all the way up than to extend your legs. But it will not be as stable and any kind of vibration in the area could create blur in your photograph with these long shutter exposures. So always extend the legs first. These tripods are good because they've just got a little flick switch and once that's in it should be locked off. We want to get the tripod nice and steady, have the legs at the same level. The sophisticated ones have a spirit levels and that's a, a really important thing to get correct initially is make sure that the tripod and the camera is nice and level to your scene. Otherwise you're going to have angles that are quite distracting. These tripods will go quite low and these ones won't and that's where you might need to use the ground or something else to support your camera.